waking up with the snow still on the mountains, but we're looking at a bit of a warm up, so we're going to check in with Greg on your Wednesday morning forecast. But this weekend, Peter Cottontail comes hopping comes down the bunny Cotton trail with all kinds of treats for the kids. But what about the adults here? Well, there's plenty of candy for us, too, but how about a glass of vino with your Easter candy? You got to pair the right wine with. The right I like where this is going. I do too. Wine expert Teal Eshelman is here with some Easter wine and candy pairings. Teal, good to have you. Thank you. Yeah, for coming I, in. We, we, the first thing all of us noticed was the peeps because they're a love them or a hate them type right. of candy. Exactly. It's very <laughs> polarizing, but Kirk is a big fan of the peeps. So, what do I pair with it? So, peeps, as you know, is one of the most iconic Easter candies. So, yeah. it has to be represented. Um, we've paired it with the fabulous Gloria Ferrer Brut Rose. This is a dry, light, and refreshing sparkling rosé. Feel free to have a little Here, why don't sure. you get in there? It's your favorite. No, you're trying some too, Megan. So do you just put it in the wine? <laughs> if you'd like to, go ahead. You're not supposed to do that? Oh, I wonder if it's going to expand now. It might a little oh, bit. Oh, that's fantastic. That's good, though. That really is good. Leave it to Here Kirk. Get a little grass. I'm not a peeps fan. <laughs> but you have to eat it because we're on TV. <laughs> and feel free to have I'll, a taste. I'll take like one little oh bite. Oh my bite. gosh! Take so a it big has bite. some uh, delicious flavors of bright strawberries, okay. Meyer lemon, little green apple. Um, what it's I super sweet wine, right? Yeah. No, it's dry completely. Oh really? Well, yeah. there must be the peep in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's what did it. it. Takes two to tango. <laughs> so does it kind of offset the sweetness of the peep? Is that the the concept? It's like here? refreshing yes. bubbles. It is refreshing bubbles, and what's great is it pairs well with the peeps, but that's with good. the entire Easter meal. So from peeps to spiraled ham, you are good to go with this fruit rosé. Okay, then of course jelly beans. Jelly beans. You do like jelly beans, I right, Megan? I love jelly beans. You are yeah. American, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> I like jelly beans, all American jelly beans, but I wouldn't put it in the wine. Yeah, they are uh, definitely not putting in the wine. Is not the way to so, go, but they are traditional Easter candy, right. which we paired with the uh, 2015 Cundi Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. So this is another dry wine. So this is a white wine that is made in Sonoma County, California. It has a lot of bright, uh, crisp flavors to it that complement the variety of flavors you'll get in the jelly beans. So this offsets the sugar a little bit, I guess? Yeah. Um, I refer to this as my go-to patio pounder for the springtime. <laughs> it is a little patio too easy. Patio pounder! <laughs> it's a little too easy to drink, uh, but <laughs> delicious with jelly so beans. Exactly. Next thing, you're five glasses in and everything's spinning. You're like, what is happening? And things <laughs> are good to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next thing I'm just saying, that happens. <laughs> All right, so now chocolate, beans. quintessential chocolate bunny. Yes, the chocolate bunny. Not the red one. Yeah, so the chocolate bunny, these are dark chocolate that I've paired with the 2014 Girard Old Vine Zinfandel. Okay. Um, Zinfandels traditionally pair extremely well with chocolate. Um, this one in particular has some delicious blackberry notes, a little bit of smokiness to it, um, some toasted spice, and some cocoa powder notes to it. So um, it really does complement the chocolate bunny quite nicely. I feel like you're seeing things like cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you didn't see as much of that maybe 10, 15 years ago. They're kind of experimenting more, don't you think? Experimenting with, with cocoa. flavors. Yeah, well, I mean, it's really all about the vineyard and what types of flavors come up through the grapes, the oh, soil, right, the barrels. Right. There's a lot of different components to it. Um, so they don't put cocoa powder in the wine. Right, <laughs> right, right. Oh, certainly. But they do mimic the, uh, the flavors, which That's is really amazing cool. with chocolate. Well, um, for years, wine and chocolate have been known to go hand in hand together, but you've made some distinct pairings, I guess, when it comes to Cadbury the Easter. Eggs. Yeah, well, that's what I got my eye on. Yeah, Cadbury. So you eggs. like these? Yeah, I do. Oh, see, now these, this is the candy I don't like, but nonetheless, it's chocolate, it's cream. And what wine goes with that? So we've paired it with the Josh Sellers Legacy Wine. This is a phenomenal blend of four different wines: uh, Zin, Cab, okay. uh, Merlot, and Petit Syrah. It is a pretty rich wine, yeah. but still pretty smooth, which is great. Um, so the richness of this pairs well with the richness of the Cadbury cream eggs. Okay. So we, right, it's got the cream. Center filling. Yeah, um, so typically with pairings, you want to either contrast it mm. or mimic similar flavors. So I feel like this one's a lighter red. Yeah, it is lighter, um, but it has some richness components to it mm -hmm. with um, the cab and petite Syrah coming through. Um, but what I love about this is the hazelnut and plum flavors in this wine, I think, oh, yeah. complement the chocolate in the cream eggs quite nicely. Well, I just like the chocolate. Yeah, going <laughs> so straight for the chocolate. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking the yeah, time. That's yeah, that's fun. Of course. To kind of break this all down. And are these all wines we can find at our local uh, liquor store? Yep. And they're all at a very affordable price range, anywhere okay. between $17 a bottle to $29 a bottle. Okay. So um, 
definitely find them at your local liquor store oh, and cool. make sure you have a fabulous, fun Easter <laughs> Sunday with these wines. Yeah, pick up a bottle of wine, put it in uh, an adult favorite friend's Easter basket. And send your exactly. extra peeps to uh, 100 East Spear Boulevard, oh, Denver, Colorado, care of Kirk Yonke. <laughs> I don't know why he loves the peeps so if much. You got peeps over, all day. If you got leftover <laughs> Reese's eggs. This guy. Nobody has it's, leftovers. Yeah, nobody has that. It is their yeah. perfect mix. It's better than the peanut butter cups if you've never had one. There's more peanut butter than chocolate in them. The ratio is just right. Temperatures this morning also just right. We're sitting.